I messed up in the last crypto bull run. I made a huge mistake. And I'm guessing most of you experienced the same thing. Let's go. All right. Today we're talking about the biggest mistake that I made in the last bull run. And we're going to cut through the shit, the shit right? I'm going to be real with you because it frustrates me so much thinking about it. Oh, shit, dude. I made a lot of mistakes. But this one, this one haunts me, man. It gets me frustrated. Every time I think about it, I just get, you know, chills in my arm. I started subscribing to a whole bunch of YouTube channels, right? Digital Asset Investor, Brad Kimes, Kevin Cage, you know, a Bearable Bull, a whole bunch of influencers on crypto because I didn't know anything about it. And they were just starting at the time. So I started watching them, watching them. I bought all sorts of shit. And for many years, this fucking market didn't do shit. Yeah, in 2018, it exploded, but I was brand new. So I didn't even know fucking any better. Didn't really matter. Okay, but, and they missed the bull run too in 2018. And so we were all waiting for the next one. And then in 2021, that shit came out of nowhere. I remember I was going to the gym, looking at my phone, and my portfolio went up by about $15,000. I mean, that bitch hadn't done shit for so long, but it went up $15,000. I mean, the hair on my fucking arm stood up because normally from trading to make $15,000, I mean, you got to do a lot of fucking work. I didn't do shit. So I thought, all right. So then I started watching these channels, and they were all talking about, okay, this is it. This is the run, right? XRP is going to the moon. Everything is going to the moon. Next day, that son of a bitch went up by about shit. I think it was like 20 something thousand dollars. So 30 something thousand dollars in two days. So now shit was, <laughs> shit was starting to get real. So what did I do? I watched more YouTube. Keeping that shit real. I have been in the financial industry for 25 years, so I know better. But since I didn't really fully understand the crypto market, I was relying on everybody else. I was watching all the videos and everybody said, you know, Bitcoin's going to go to a million dollars or at least a quarter of a million. XRP was going to take off. And that was the time. <laughs> I mean, keeping that shit real, I didn't even know what the hell I bought. I had about 30 coins. Now, mind you, what was so Interesting for me was prior to that, I had signed up with this project and I got a lot of crypto stolen. So I was still coming off of that frustration, that hurt of getting that shit stolen. But I had some left. And to see that shit start to go up by 15, 30,000, I thought I was going to make up for finally what I got stolen. And that was going to be the shit that to where it set me up that I didn't have to really focus so hard on trading every day. And I remember, man. I mean, that shit was going up and up and up at its peak, 1.2 million. I watched my $50,000. Now, it was only 50000 which again, that's a lot, but I had got a lot stolen and I still had $50,000 left. And from the $50,000, it grew to $1.2 million. I mean, that bitch had went up so much. One thing about the crypto industry that I learned, it's when that shit does go, <laughs> it goes. The problem is it doesn't really go that much. <laughs> if you watch the YouTubers, I mean, according to them, it's going, it's going up every fucking day, right? Every day, it's going up to the moon. You guys know, we. <laughs> I talk about that shit all the time in my reaction videos. But $1.2 million. And, and then you know, kind of peaked out, stopped going up, started to go back down. So what did I do? You know, I was focusing on, instead of just looking at the information on the chart, I was watching YouTubers, right? I was letting them make my decisions for me. And none of them were taking profits, right? They still had faith. They would talk about all these developments, especially with Ripple, and they would just constantly go back to that. And that XRP was, you know, everything was still going up. And so I believed them. Mind you, 
they're just they were growing their channel. That's what they were doing. I mean, in reality, what the fuck do they know when it comes to that? Right? What the fuck did I know? It's a new industry. And I watched that bitch go all the way back down. Frustrating. And I mean, there were days where it whacked me. My portfolio was at 1.2 million plus. And that son of a bitch dropped all the way back down into the $50,000 range. It dropped over $1.2 million. You're talking about that emotional roller coaster. And I did it because of my fucking stupidity. Okay, I was watching everybody out there and all of them, I'm, I'm at least the ones that I followed, kept saying that that was the time. And the psychological you know, damage that it was doing during that was bad. It took me a solid year to recover from it. And again, it's all my fault. But I was putting my faith in everybody out there. I thought they were speaking the truth. And at the time, it's just, they're just trying to grow their channel, which is nothing wrong. I get it. But that got me. And it fucked me up. I don't know about you, but again, me and you are chatting, right? We cannot make that same mistake in the next one. We're not going to rely on nobody. When that time comes, you better believe I'm going to be relying on myself and my knowledge. I won't be paying attention to all the people out there who are going to say that that's the time that Bitcoin's going to hit a million. That's the time that XRP is going to triple and quadruple digits. <laughs> you know, but because if they were right, that shit would have already happened. Because every day, and I know, I watch the videos, I react to the videos. They constantly say that it's going to the fucking moon. And we can't rely on them. That's the biggest mistake that I made, not taking profits in the last bull run. Maybe that was you. You know, it's all about speaking the truth. That's what I'm focusing on here on this channel, speaking the truth, keeping that shit real, uh, fucking adding some humor along the way. If you found value in this in any way, give me a thumbs up on this video. Also, let me know down below in the comments what is your biggest mistake that you made in the last bull run so we can not make that mistake. If you enjoyed this ripple effect, make sure you watch this one. This one's about XRP. You're going to love that one.